Hey guys, back again, unfortunately. So last night was probably one of the scariest nights. Um, we've had a couple scary nights, but I think last night, yeah, was like w one of the worst nights that we actually experienced. So um, I know a lot of people don't have patience, so I am going to fast forward just a little bit. I want, I'm going to talk through this video, but I want to give you guys um, the view of what the camera captures before I zoom in. So this is last night, at 12, well, early this morning, 1223 AM. I do kind of look for them and I call them the light entities, the light beings, but I'm really starting to think that they, there's different things that come. Okay. So, but this I thought was like a light worker or a light entity. But I don't think it's that anymore. I think it's either part of a UFO craft or an alien like or a portal opening. So if you can, so it came right here, um, west in my yard of this tree, which really scared the crap out of me. I'm gonna go hit hit play because it's never came that close. I normally catch this. In the next yard over it'll be my tree but it'll you know that you know how you have a big tree it kind of hangs in your neighbor's yard so to have this in the center of our yard i was freaked out but real quick so you have the light um entity in the middle that's coming through right now but what really kind of got me too was these two little small lights and if you watch them like yeah this stuff is crazy but they're blinking and, it, and it, they're steady I, under, I understand that the camera's glitching a little bit but this is there, these two little lights, and then you have this white one in the middle. So like I said, I normally catch it where it's already in its shape, you know what I mean? It'll, And I have videos of it. I have pictures that I've uploaded. Hmm. I've never caught it doing this. And then having it like inside my yard. <laughs> I was on edge, seriously, like, <clears throat> I have no idea why my voice is going out, but I wasn't screaming, you guys, but I was frightened. Um, Because it's up close and personal, and I, I have saw the little lights, these little dots that are like blinking in and out. I've seen them, but once again, <clears throat> in the neighbor's yard, not in my yard. There's been other things that's happened. I've had, you know, in the morning, because I, I will stay up, because the camera, it will just keep going off they're moving around out there you know there it looks like the ground is rising up it's just all kind of stuff happening and it will set the cameras off so when that happens look at this guys this is amazing like but when that happens those will be the nights that i choose to stay up and i will watch and record till the sun comes up and i've had it to where they'll come out of their like little hiding places where they've been all night so they can turn that light off. I don't know if they're going in or out. I have no idea how they work, but that light will go off and then it'll come back. Well, anyways, uh, the sun that came up, one came over and was like on the fence right here. I have a video of that too. I was just baffled. That was like two months ago, but this right here, no. This had me shaking in my boots. I was like, oh my gosh, this is going down. It's, it's going down. And like I said, to see the two lights there, <clears throat> And this in the center, I'm looking at it different now, especially with the latest dream, so-called. And then that huge light that, you know, was in my backyard a couple nights ago. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know, you guys. I don't think this is an entity right here. I'm, I'm like more leaning towards a portal. And if not a portal, it was a ship, like a UFO ship. I mean... I, I don't know. It's, it's crazy. So anyways, um, I'm going to go ahead and get to the next video because I do record it for a little while. And a lot of times, like when I'm recording, it will go away. Like it'll leave. Like it doesn't want to be recorded, but then there's times that it doesn't mind. It's, it's weird. But yeah, I, I was on edge last night. You know, like I wanted to see it. I do feel like, you know, they've been helping me. You know, I, I became spiritual. I do have a YouTube channel, Divine Pisces 444. Um, and I started this, you know, just trying to heal and, you know, like go within, um, find myself again type of thing. And 
I could tell something was like around me. I'm empathic. So I felt the energy. I just took it as in my guardian angels. Um, after a couple of months, I started to like hear, which is not uncommon for me. I, I, I am very empathic, very uh, spiritually gifted. I, I hear spirits. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. Um, so that's not an, um, abnormal for me. But they, I could be talking and dead in the middle of a sentence. I would be corrected. I want to stop real quick. Do you see? Like, it's like a blue little thing around it. And I, I promise it's like little dots, like eyes. I'm going to tell you guys what I feel or think. And I'm not sure. But it's almost like a, like a little blue alien. And it's pulling the light out of itself. Or creating it but then you have the t so I've never seen the two small lights like this blinking so that I don't know that's that's throwing me off like I, I don't think I'm right on this <laughs> like I think I'm super off oh it gets deeper I want to play this out though so you guys can see this oh goodness what they did that for like when I tell you we had a rough night we we did not go. We went we put up we put up a fight. Like they they got in the house. Do you hear me? They got in my house and I'm laughing because we were all on edge. I just went to bed. I told the boys, I said, go just go to sleep. I um the last incident with the um the portal opening and I said how I saw the humans, they were like human like. Look at that. I don't know what that was. Okay. That might be a plane. Okay, never mind. But um I believe, and I have seen, you see how it skipped? So it starts getting real distorted at this point. But I have seen like blue, um, sh short, like aliens, a uh, white pill. <clears throat> so I'm wondering if they're all together and they send them to collect us, seriously, and then bring us up on a ship or whatever we're going on. And then they, you know, then you have the human like. Because I, I, at first I thought it's just a portal out there. Like this, all this, like, come on, you guys see what it's doing. <clears throat> it got extremely distorted. So I'm thinking, okay, there's definitely a portal opening in, in my yard. And everything's coming through it. Down to the spirits. L listen, guys, I have a, not only a video, two weeks prior to the video actually happened. You can see it turning and twisting in the middle. It is definitely doing something. Um, But I... A couple weeks before I got the video, I saw um, what looked like a Latino man walking. We were driving home uh, right around the corner, walking up the road, and he should have been in front of me. Sorry about that, guys. He should have been in front of me. And I'm going to fast forward this to get back to it. He should have been in front of me. And uh, when we get to the stop sign and he just vanishes in thin air. I mean, I got the description of him. I could describe him to you, what he wore. I did remember thinking, whoa, where did he come from? You know, like, okay, stay out of your grand your grandpa's, you know, attic because he was wearing old, <clears throat> I mean, extremely old clothes. Like, I might have to skip this video, guys, because it, it did go away for a second. Like, it started spinning and twisting, and then it, as you see, it disappeared. But I do have a few more videos, so it comes back. It definitely comes back. There it goes. It's coming back. But um, he was just dressed super old. I felt like it was the 80s. It could have been the 60s or the 70s. Now think about it. It might have been um, like a 70s. Those jeans, you know, and the jacket he wore was not, no, from our, my time. <laughs> and so he disappeared, though. And I even drove around looking for him. Um, and I was just baffled now because he looked it so real. I did not think I was seeing a spirit. Yes, I do see spirits. I can see spirits. Um, I've been tested by some of my closest friends, people I've just met. You know, they won't tell me nothing and I will come to their house or whatever, or they'll come over to mine and they'll have it'll, it, a, a grandfather, a, a nephew or whoever, a loved one will follow them and I will see them. Sometimes they give me messages. So it wasn't like that. This was different. Like he was really there and I was so baffled. I was so upset that night and I'm like, what happened? So fast forward two weeks later, it was a crazy night. Cameras were going off all night into the early morning. The sun is up. 
and the camera also took a bunch of pictures. So I'm reviewing everything and I look um, when the sun was up, you know, I'm looking at the, uh, I'm zoomed in looking at the, you know, the backyard and all of these faces appear. There was a baby. There was um, an older man. Like it was, and it's weird because they'll have like rosy cheeks and everything. I even saw an African-American man and and he looked like he was on a cloud and there was these blue, um, blue face creatures and they all have their mouth open. I have to do a video with my pictures. Like it will blow you away. You will be like, what the heck? These are better than the videos. Like, um, and he looked like a, a Afro or something. And I'm like, don't tell me this is Jesus. I hope I don't offend anybody by that, but I mean, he was on a cloud, you know? So anyways, but there was the Mexican, the Latino. There he was by the tree up against the fence. Only his face came in his, his entire head. And he was wearing one of those hats, you know, that they like to wear on their farms, the, when they're farming or whatever it's it's a and they don't even do that anymore latinos uh mexicans they don't there's some the cowboy boots in the in the hat some still do it but but that was a thing back then so i showed my son and i'm like i bet that was him wow you know fast forward two more weeks now it's four in the morning and i have three cameras close together but there's the one that just keeps going off this one actually and it's aimed at you know, the tree uh, closest to the east side of my yard. So, you know, I go ahead, jump one and see if I, you know, I'm watching, listening, see if I can catch anything. And next thing I know, it sounds like Mexican music, but not just Mexican music, like old. I'm talking about old 50s, 60s. And you can hear voices. And I'm like, wait a minute. It sounds like somebody was having a party. So I'm like, huh, why, what neighbor is out here at four in the morning? Sorry guys. And, uh, this will be the last one. And then I'm going to take you to what happened, um, later this night, later, earlier this morning. Okay. So I'm like, what neighbor? So I go ahead. I have three basically positioned in the back. It's on the garage and it wraps around. So I go to each camera and I do a 20, 30 second, um, you know, live stream or whatever. I don't hear anything. I don't see anything. So the camera to the left of this one, if it was a neighbor in this direction, it would have picked it up. It doesn't matter. Like either direction to the left of me, to the right of me, the other camera should have picked it up. No, it doesn't. But you want to know what's even more creepier. I told my son, like, you know, I already knew what it was. You know, if we're talking portals. Hey, spirits can come through. They were, um, this is residual energy. I don't know, because that was the first time and the only time that we I've been able to capture it. But um, it could be something new that's happening. I have no idea. But I think it's about two, three nights ago. I get up in the middle of the night. It's around four or five in the morning to use the restroom. And I have a vent right there in front of the toilet. And I'm sitting there. The camera skips right there. I'm sitting there and I, and I hear this noise, the sound, I mean. And I, I go to listen and I'm like, whoa. It sounded exactly like that music that was playing. It's a, it's like a real old sound to it. And I'm like, maybe, you know, my son, he stays up in summer and he'll have, you know, stuff playing on television while he's on the phone. And I'm like, well, maybe it's him. And, you know, cause sometimes I can hear through the vents. It's old house, whatever. So when I come out the restroom, nope, it's completely silent in his room. He's asleep. I got a TV on in my room. So I come in. Nope. There, there's no music playing. So I was like, okay, it sounded like it was in the basement coming up, you know, rising up through the vent. Very creepy, right? But this right here, yeah, it's one thing to hear. <laughs> Something you cannot see, but when you can see it, yeah, it's not so fun. So let me, um, this is going to be the last one for this. And then it, I, I don't think it went away. I stopped recording. I was like, I'm done. <laughs> you know, like, I don't want to provoke it. If that's the correct word. Yeah. Agitate it. Um, let me find the one. Let's see. Because oh, the cameras were very active last night. Very active. Okay, guys. I found it. Now, before you start speculating what this is, 
it's not a spider web. I wish it was. Um, what made me jump back on? This is 3.50 a.m. I'm up sitting here in my room at the computer desk. And the left side of my house, which is uh, the west side, because here's that tree that I talk about. It's kind of like in the middle, but it's off. And it's towards the west side of the yard. I hear uh, like a something hit my house right here, like right where I'm sitting. And it was like a boom, you know. I felt like it was like that. It could have been a knock. I don't know, but it was like a, you know, I was just like, ooh, okay. You know, that's never happened before. You know, my neighbor should be asleep. It's her and her son, but he should be sleeping. So I was like, let me look, um, you know, because this camera I normally have pointed towards my window, but I've moved it because there's so much going on in the backyard. I didn't want to miss anything. And so I jump on and boom, here you have it. So my first thought was it's a spider web maybe but then you know i get spider webs i'll go out there i treat my cameras every day i go and wipe them clean them you know make sure there's no cobwebs or whatever but and eh, this this is very similar to the first one i got um i've posted um what was that like a month or so ago i'm gonna be quiet because i need you guys to hear what ha what happens the sound and just watch like you're it's deep let me make sure I got the volume up all the way. Yeah. And um, there is no light back there besides the light on the camera. Okay. So, but I'm going to be quiet so you can hear. Okay, let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. Um, so the click sound you heard, I'm trying to find a, there was something inside of that getting ready to come through. The click sound you heard was the camera to the left of this camera. So the side of my garage, you know, you have a you know, corner here, a corner there. That's pretty much where these cameras are positioned. So it was, that was a lot and it was a light flashing you could see it on the trees so the camera to the left of this one took a picture that was the click let me tell you guys i was terrified i did not um i was trying to get an image of it i'm pretty good at this here we go you know something was coming through so i got you know my son had just went to lay down i'm I'm out in the hallway knocking on his door. I'm like, get up, get up. They're back, they're back. They're here, you know? And it was so crazy because he, he like the youngest one was asleep. He was getting ready to go to bed. He had just went in his room maybe 10 minutes before this. And I was getting ready to go to sleep. And this is happening. No, 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 no. No, you're not. Not tonight, you won't. So he sees it and he's like, mom, they have really been taking us. Like, yeah, I told him. I said, I don't think we're dreaming it feels like a dream, you know, because we're in our bed when we wake up. But so let me tell you what happens next. So I'm sitting up, you know, I'm hearing what sounds like, uh, I, you know, if this one happened, I would have thought it was a raccoon on top of the house. I hear like creaks, you know, and this ain't every night, like at all. So there's something on top of the house. I'm off. I will not look again. Um, I refuse to look again. I don't want to look again. <laughs> And so I sat here for about 15, 20 minutes. I said my prayers, you know, 
Um, and then at the end, I was very upset, very, very frantic. At the end, I remember thinking, like, what if these are the guardian angels? Like I said before, what if these are our ancestors? They're here to help us. We're not used to it, so it's going to look scary, you know, stuff like that. So, like, maybe I shouldn't be afraid, but my thing is this. Like, I told you guys, I don't want to be awake and coherent, like, consciously aware <laughs> that this little you know, blue, gray, white aliens coming for me to take me through a light of some sort to go to this craft again. Um, I just posted a video sharing, you know, my experience, what I thought was a dream. But while we were asleep and I was dreaming, my whole yard lit up, you know, like a portal opened. So um, I calmed down and I, I decided, you know, I text my son. I said, just go to sleep because we, we can't get away from this. You know, that they're going to follow us wherever we go. They were at the house before we moved here. So, you know, like, you can't outrun this. It's better if we just go to sleep and not be awake. I thought he went to sleep. So, you know, I go ahead, I get in the bed, and I force myself to go to sleep. And I was out. I slept peacefully. Well, when I wake up, he just woke up not too long ago. He's like, I was up till 8 in the morning. <laughs> it's not funny, guys. I died laughing. And I was like, now you know how I feel. You know, because I've had my nights where I was like, you're not going to get me tonight. Nope, I'm not being abducted. I'm staying up. And so he's like, no, mom, ask, you know, the younger uh, brother. He was like, was that you knocking? And I'm like, don't, no, don't do that. And he was like, we heard knocking, mom. And it was super fast, like a, yeah. And I said, where? He said, inside the house. And I'm like, oh my gosh. So I know when I went to sleep, I thought I heard another like little creak or whatever above my head. And it went from sound like on the roof to in the attic. But once again, I was just like, whatever, it's a raccoon. I'm not, whatever. And he's like, so after the knock, then he asked me if I had got up. Like, you know, I don't know. He said like around five, six in the morning, whatever, between four and five, something around there. And uh, cause I went to bed shortly after this, this is 3.50 AM. I went to sleep um, like 20 minutes later. So he said, uh, it, it was, you know, maybe half an hour after we I, we had spoke or whatever, he heard like walking movement in, in the house, like in the front room. I, I did not get back up. I wasn't going back out there. I was not, you know, we all can lock our doors. Oh my gosh. I, you know, and I try to tell him just go to sleep. Cause if they're, you know, if they're going to look at this, if they're going to take us, um, there's nothing we can do. I mean, what, you know, like, and it sounds like it's getting faster and the frequency was getting higher. something was coming through something was arriving um and then let's see one two okay so that was at 350 and remember he said like you know sometime he said between five and six but you know it could have been four something so i look at because i go to sleep i don't i'm not on here no more so at 4 46 a.m that's the right corner of my yard at 4 46 a.m around the time that they're saying there's um, movement, excessive movement detected in the backyard on the left side. And that would be the side if you're going towards um, my side door. At 446, 447, there's excessive movement detected at the front porch. And, uh, you know, once again at 526, and I believe that's when they were leaving. So, all right, guys, that'll do it for this video. Um, like I said before, I'm not trying to scare anybody, just you know, just trying to get it out there. I mean, I believe I'm not the only one. There's no way that I'm the only one experiencing this. Um, maybe you guys don't have footage of it, proof of it. It's okay. You know, you, you, you know, we thought it was dreams. We thought we were having dreams and, um, you know, it, it's not, it, it's real. And if you are uh, seeing or experiencing things, you know, you can reach out to me because I understand it, it, it means everything to have support. And, um, you know, just for people to support you during this. 
because this this is this is a lot so i appreciate everybody's time i appreciate the hearts i appreciate the prayers um and the support and you know so um with that being said uh you know i'm just very thankful for everyone and um just spread the message you know and share the video and um i will continue to post as long as i am here and it continues to happen take care